Some 658 square kilometers of New Jersey, running from the area across the Hudson River from Manhattan, known as the Meadowlands, onto the southern tip of Cape May, and including a large swath of the center of the state, almost bisecting it, are less than two feet above mean high tide. It's no accident that these areas are dotted with huge municipal landfills, some of them mountains of garbage, reaching hundreds of feet into the air and many more up to 100 feet high. A dozen or so of the largest sit in New Jersey Meadowlands, a vast tidal wetland and estuary at sea level. All are now closed, but still sit in or beside the water, waiting for the seas to rise. One major landfill that's still operating and growing in size is the Middlesex County Sanitary Landfill, the largest such operating dump in New Jersey. Nearly half a mile long and nearly 600 feet wide at its base, it towers to over 160 feet tall, making it one of the highest points along the mid-Atlantic coast. Sitting right on the edge of the tidal estuary of the flood-prone Raritan River, with wetland reeds growing right up to its base, it's slated over the next decade to reach 220 feet as 700,000 tons more of trash and garbage get piled on each year. Originally started in 1992, placed atop the old privately owned Edgeboro landfill, which had no liner or dumping rolls, and which closed in the mid-1980s, the Middlesex County dump is also adjacent to one old exposed remnant of the old Edgeboro dump, which is now a hazardous waste site. This mountain of garbage might seem impressive, but in a few decades, it and other landfills, big and small in New Jersey's wetlands, will be sitting in water. Consider this pair of maps showing on the left storm surge flooding from Hurricane Sandy in 2012, and on the right, the expected sea level rise flooding we will see in 2100. Uh, I'm Jeff Tittle, director of New Jersey Sierra Club, and I'm here at the Edgeboro landfill because it's one of the largest still active landfills in New Jersey. But more importantly, it sits on the banks of the Raritan uh, estuary, uh, where the Raritan River comes into the bay. And it's an area that's very vulnerable to sea level rise. An aerial view of the Middlesex landfill and two potential scenarios for sea level rise by 2100, produced by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, of five foot sea level rise and 8.5 foot, show how each would affect the Middlesex Edgeboro landfill. A NOAA study suggests, however, that planners should use the 8.5 foot estimate in their coastal planning, including for landfills. That extreme scenario looks increasingly likely as atmospheric carbon continues to soar. The light blue on the map shows the water at high tide. But as the Sierra Club's Jeff Tittle notes, that doesn't count storm surge. This area here got hammered during Hurricane Sandy, where a wall of water came up the bay uh, into this area. Landfills in general uh, take in a lot of you know, materials, you know, not only garbage, but you know, household uh, chemicals and products, everything from medicine to paint cans, um, bleach, household cleaners, and other things. And so you really end up getting a witch's brew inside the landfill. But when you're in a flood-prone area, the chances of a wall of water going over the berms and going into the um, landfill get higher and higher each year. And yet, we're unprepared because if there's a heavy storm, they could wash out what's in this landfill and send it into the communities around here.